Yo, what's up, YouTube? So go and listen. You can hear the rain. Hold on, let's let's uh, open the door here. San Diego, baby. It's raining. We need it here in San Diego. It's like 80, 90 degrees year long, year round. <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> I'm happy. I'm finally smiling for the first time in like a month. <laughs> I swear the camera makes me feel good. Um, yeah, my last video was about my mom and this one, I just want to make kind of a life update. Uh, playing some video games right now, playing a little NBA. <laughs> uh, NBA 2K19, it's a fun one. Um, but pretty much I they my family was helping me clean up all my mom's old stuff and so I could move into her old room it's funny I was talking to this guy at the bank this guy the the guy that was helping me in the other day he was telling me that after his mom died he didn't go in his mom's room for months maybe he didn't live with her I don't know I live with my mom so I always came in this room and said hi to her and stuff and I just wanted to move in here as quickly as possible in case I need to get roommates to afford rent and oh my god all these new payments I gotta start making but let me give you a little tour of my mom's room I, I, I never even really saw it my whole life I saw it a few times but this is my mom's room I didn't come in here a lot but man they did a good job it's a beautiful room this isn't the original they they had to build an addition to this house and my mom took out a loan for it or paid for it I'm not sure but it's a beautiful room so I just had like a really small room back in the day but this one's cool so it's in the back of the house first you got the bathroom but check this out I got a don't want to get copyrighted here Oh, not for now. We never knew, never knew. Wrecking for the Hanukkah. <laughs> like I know the lyrics. Hallelujah. Pick your poison, tell me what you do. Alright, so here's the bathroom. And by the way, I want to give a little physique update. <laughs> it's bad, guys. <laughs> it's bad, everyone. <laughs> I got super fat. All right, let's see what's at, what it's at. <laughs> and I just worked out too. Oh God. I just gained a half pound talking. Anyway. Yeah, yeah man, I, I've been trying to work out, but it's been winter, it's so cold. It's just like, gotta have this natural inclination and just eat, eat, eat. It's so much easier to lose weight in the summer. And I don't like lose any weight unless I work out. And even then it's barely any, cause I barely sweat. You have to sweat to lose weight. Anyway, yeah, so here's my mom's bathroom, and then we enter here. Here's her. Um, it was this was the main uh, room of the household, like the main bedroom, that's what it is, but now it's it's pretty much, there was a TV, I put my TV now here in my Xbox, video games, all that stuff. It's pretty cool, and I got a couch. So it's like an entertainment room, because I remember growing up, I would always go to my aunt's house, and at their house, they have this giant house, they're pretty well off, or they've done pretty well, and they have a giant house, two-story, <clears throat> and their main bedroom, it was cool because their master bedroom it was like a master bedroom, and then there was an uh, like a computer room connected to it. So I don't know if my mom like copied that. Theirs was first, so my mom obviously got the idea from that. And I think it's really cool because if the if you have kids or something like they had kids, their kids could be like playing video games, and uh, the parents could be in the other room, and yeah, makes it like a small little house. So yeah, here's my here's the entertainment room, and then. Uh, my, my brand new bike my dad bought me. <laughs> if 
finally been able to ride around. And then here, and then you walk into the bedroom. So it's like an opening right there. It's pretty cool. And here's the bedroom. I got some of my posters up, but I also have some pictures of my mama and me. <laughs> but there's a lot of cool things that they left behind and want to keep this house. I've thought about it. They've been trying to get me, some people have been telling me to move or get a different house, but this is where I grew up and I don't want to leave my house if I can prevent it. I love this house. It has so much history. It's been here since 58. And yeah, I just want to, want to keep this house and keep moving forward. Just start paying my own, all of my own bills and maybe get a roommate or something. I don't know. But I want to move on with life. I don't want to just get depressed and lame because my mom passed away. It sucks, man. This I've been thinking about it like this is probably the hardest thing that's ever happened to me in my life. It's like the darkest time of my life. <laughs> and um, like a lot, some people that lose their parents, they lose them when they're really young. And that sucks. Don't get me wrong. But when you lose a parent at like eight or nine years old, you don't get super attached to them. And it doesn't hurt. It might not hurt as bad. Like. Imagine you're in a, a relationship or a marriage for 30 years and ends compared to a marriage for seven years. You know, it, it's a big difference. Or like imagine like smokers that smoke. They say like it's so much easier to quit for cigarette smokers after like three or four years of smoking compared to if they're a smoker for like 30 years because the addiction really starts to set in. And it's like I was in this relationship with my mom for 25 years and the closest one closest person to me and I've cried a lot and I've never cried on camera because I just haven't been in the moment but it sucks and to lose someone that close to you after that many years I mean and I wasn't expecting it too because like say if she lived to be 70 once she hits once she hit 70 I would be like okay every every day I'd be like like waiting for the phone call or something, you know, when everyone once every human being wants to hit 70, it's like, okay, every year you got to be thankful for because it's pretty old. My mom was only 55, man. That's so young. I, I still thought she had saved up all this money. I was thinking about this. My mom saved up all this money in her retirement and she'd always talk about it and she was going to use all this money to pay off the house and such and such. And but she wanted to buy her own house in Julian, and um, she wanted to start her own company that she could work on at home once she retired. And she was going to try and retire early at like 60 or something. But and she was so excited about it because she'd been working, you know, as a nurse since she was, I was a registered nurse since 30. That's 25 years. And uh, she's been working period since she was like 18 <laughs> that's like 35 37 years man she was really looking forward to retirement and enjoy her final years and not only that but if my mom had retired even in the next year or two I could have paid all our bills and bought her food and she wouldn't even need to use any of her, her retirement money and now it sucks because she doesn't get to use any of that. It's such a bummer. It's so sad. And I may not get any of it. I may not get any money. I may lose the house. I mean, this is crazy, man. This is like super drama. I have I know I've gained a little weight, but if I have to live on the street tomorrow with it raining, like, <laughs> I'll grab my backpack, my hoodie, and I'll make it, man. I ain't, I ain't looking to die anytime soon, so... It's just, this is a bummer, and I just want to do everything in my power to just at least maintain the lifestyle I have, and maybe, and keep working, and like I said, maybe get a roommate, and just try and enjoy my life, and make my dream of raising a family come true, and just live for the American dream that that's still out there, that's still a possibility, still a reality for some, and it's still a dream of mine, and yeah, just, I, I'm so grateful for the past I had because it's nice because some people don't have a good past, so 
they I feel like and I felt like that before and it sucks because when you feel like you don't have a good past it feels like you're always chasing the present or you're always trying to get a good moment in the present you're always trying to strive for like the best moment in the present because you didn't have a good past and so the present has power over you because you're all you need it to feel good because you didn't have a past to fulfill that but thankfully God, I was thinking about that recently I think that's a problem a lot of people have you know I'm a psychology major so I think about psychological problems people can develop and I think that that's one that <clears throat> when people have bad past it can really screw with their present moment because they try to like a like like a woman if you <laughs> the more you need her and the more you need a response from her and for her to like you and stuff like that the it just annoys them that's what i found and it doesn't work like but if you're kind of like um you're carefree you don't need her that much especially when i'm drunk it works because I don't care as much and then they can sense that and so it works out for both of you it makes you both more relaxed but in the same way as the present moment if you need it too bad like a woman if you really need it to work out if you really need the present to like you the present moment to like you and stuff like that it will evade you because you're chasing too hard and <clears throat> um, that's something I've learned I'm 25 now I've learned a few lessons and I think that that's one thing I'm so grateful for that my mom gave me is she gave me a really good past that I think about now all the time and I've uh, I'll like go to sleep and I'll start dreaming and then I'll mom because when I go to when I go to sleep and I'm dreaming my mom's still there if anyone's wondering yeah if when you lose someone close to you do you still dream about them? Are they still alive? Yeah. I, I like my mom's been alive in my dreams over and over and then I wake up and I'm like, fuck. And then reality hits and I'm like, God damn it, my mom's dead. Fuck. <laughs> that sucks. And cause she's a she's alive for eight hours while I'm asleep, and so now I'm depressed. Now I'm trying to sleep every day. Cause mom brings back my mom. But that's not 100% true. I've, it's gotten a lot better, especially the first week was really bad. But I'm starting to go to the gym again. and It's just that's the reality, folks. That's human life. And don't I'm not going to kill myself about it. I still love myself, and I appreciate the effort I put in. But <sighs> it's hard. And But that's one thing I'm grateful my mom gave me is she gave me a really good past. And so I don't have to live for the present as much i enjoy the present and i want the present to be good and i want to have a good present moment but i had such a good past that i can always go back to it and think about my past and think about how great it was with my mom and look at me i'm about to cry <laughs> yeah so yeah i mean it's so one thing I'm so grateful for. I just keep thinking about growing up how <laughs> we'd always have monsters in the house and rock star energy drinks and food, fridge full of food. Just play video games all day. I had a good mom, man. So. First time I've cried on camera. <laughs> I love you too, Elsa. This is my dog. Yeah, it's just a good memory of mine. Just growing up playing Halo and moms and at work and just <laughs> playing video games, eating frozen dinners every night. <laughs> Man. I'm gonna miss her, but if you're out there watching, man, I appreciate it, and just know that times will get better. Love you all, and until next time, later, YouTube. Yo, uh, this one's for my mama, if she's watching. I know she never watched my YouTube channel, so <laughs> if you're watching above, mom, this is for you.
forget about strength training. <laughs> it's important. All right, let's see. It's 25 push-ups. Ilsa? Ah! That's 25. All right. Well, back in my kitchen here. And uh, now everyone's favorite part, what I eat in a day. So let's take a look at my fridge and we'll see what we got here. Mmm, some apple cider vinegar. <laughs> nah, I got nothing in my fridge. Just been eating out all the time now. But it sure makes cutting calories easy. And man, I just got done with a great morning workout, which you guys saw. Playing a little basketball, feeling good. Finally got back under 160, just like around 159 and feeling good. I really should, I want to stay in like the 150s, low 150s. 140 was good. I was skinny though. But like being around 150, I gotta stay in shape. I can't just eat and not work out. So, anyway, YouTube, I'm out.